Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe, and today I want to walk through how to take a spreadsheet like this and have it automatically highlight an entire row based on a value being entered. So here's how this works. So let's suppose if I typed a 1 in here and I wanted it to highlight, I'll select this range, go to conditional formatting on my home ribbon. This isn't the same in 2007, 10, 13, or 16, no difference. I'll highlight the rule if it's greater than 0. And then I'll choose I want it to be green or whatever color I'd like, and here we go. If I order two of those, bang. So very easy to highlight a single cell. Now, if some, the problem with this one is sometimes people will put in a negative number, like a return. If you put a negative something, that doesn't highlight. So what I could do is have a second rule, conditional formatting, highlight if it's less than zero. I could do it that way. The other option I could do is select this range and go to manage my rules, Take this one and we'll edit it. So instead of it being greater than zero, I'll have it be not equal to zero. And then apply that. Okay. So it comes down to having two rules if I want to have green is good, red is bad. Or if I just want to highlight it, if it's not zero, you can use one rule. Now I'm going to clear all my formatting and I'll show you how to do the entire row. So clear rules from the entire sheet. Done. Now, now we're going to do with the entire row. Here's how the entire row works. I'm going to select this row. And now I'm in cell C3, or C3, I've got C3 to F3 selected, but C3 is active. I'll go to conditional formatting. I'll skip all of this stuff and go right on down to manage rules. So try again, to new rule, down to new rule. And forget all these things, go right to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to use a formula here. And the formula I'm going to use in cell C3 is going to be equals D3 is not equal to zero. Now, oh, not equal to zero. Now, I've got the less than and greater than signs showing there because if I am less than or greater than 12 years old, then I'm not 12 years old. So not equal to is represented like this because we don't have equals with a line through it. So less than or greater than gives you not equal to. Okay, now the other thing I have to do is you'll notice there's dollar signs on here. Dollar signs lock the cell reference. But I don't want the 3 locked because I want to be able to copy this down. And if I don't remove the dollar sign off the 3, then all the cells will highlight if D3 is a value. And I, I want a single row selected. But I need the D on the dollar sign selected because if I don't, what happens is C will look at D, D will look at E, E will look at F, and so on. And that's not what I want. I want C looking at D, E looking at D, D looking at D. So D's got to be locked. And with the locked D, with the dollar sign, let me delete the one in the three. I'll choose my formatting. And I'll go here and make it fill with yellow. So you can take, see how that looks now. And I hit OK. And nothing happens because I have no value. But now I do. Minus one, zero, there. So very quickly, I can highlight that one row. Now, I just did the one row. But now I want to do more. So I'm going to go here grab my little uh, the skinny crosshairs, and I'll drag that puppy on down, and I killed all my data, which is bad news. But this little box shows up down here, autofill options, and I'll click on that. Instead of filling the series, which is what I just did, I will fill formatting only. And now formatting is put in place so that now that works. So that's it. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you've liked this video, please take the time to subscribe, share it with other people, and um, thanks for watching. Stay pumped. We'll see you next time.